there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're going to talk about translations which are a type of transformation that we need to know. So what we would like to be able to do is to be able to translate a shape and to be able to describe a translation that has occurred. This is what we're going to do in this video and in the next video we're going to describe the translation. So to remind us what is a translation? So, um, we should be reminded uh, from the word transformers, the film transformers, transformations are from that, they mean to change your shape. And the four types we need to know are rotations, translations, reflections and enlargements. And in this video, we're going to talk about a translation. All a translation is, what are they? They're just a movement of the shape. They're just a movement, okay, um, of a shape. And the movement is right or left and up and down. Okay, so we have different types of transformations which we'd use a vector to describe. So I'm going to give you an example of vectors so you can understand what they look like. Imagine the vector 3, 4. That means 3 right, 4 up. So the vector negative 3, 4 would mean 3 left, 4 up. The vector 3 negative 4 would mean 3 right, 4 down. And lastly, the vector negative 3 negative 4 means 3 left and 4 down. So we would describe how to move the shape with a vector, and that would tell us what to do with the shape. So let's do a few examples. So here's the first example, translate the shape C by 3, 4. Now let's remind ourselves what 3, 4 means. That means 3 right and 4 up. So there are two ways we can do this. The first way is we can use our tracing paper. We can get our tracing paper, place our tracing paper over the shape, trace out the shape that we are going to translate or move. follows and then we're going to move the tracing paper three right and four up so one two and three and four up which is one two three and four and then we'll peel off the tracing paper and we'll mark the corners one corner there one vertice there and one vertice there and then what we can do is take away our tracing paper and then fill in the shape as follows. Okay, and remember our uh, original shape, there's a name for our original shape, it's called the object shape and the new shape that's been uh, transformed, in this case translated, is called the image. Okay, and that's how we do these. Now there is another way to do these. Um, and what I sometimes do, and this can either be a check method or, or the way you do it, I pick a corner of the original shape and I go three right and four up to where that, that corner will now become. So one, two and three, one, two, three and four. So I know that new corner's there, that corner, that right hand bottom corner is now here. I know the shape is four across and four up, so I can put the other corner in four across and the other corner in four up and fill it in. So either way, you can do um, them like that, either use the tracing paper or use that method. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Translate the shape by negative three nine. What does it mean? It means three left and nine up. So we can use our tracing paper, put our tracing paper over the shape here, and we're going to trace out our shape.
like that. And we're going to move three left and nine up. So one, two, three, and nine up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Peel back your tracing paper, put the corners in as follows, and then fill in your shape like that. And again, your original shape is called your object and your new shape is called your image. Alternatively, what you could have done is you could have picked a corner, maybe that corner, and gone three left, one, two, three, and then nine up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, knowing that was your corner and then filled in the remaining of the shape. Okay, let's do another example. Um, example three, we're going to translate this shape by negative five, negative six, which obviously means five left and six down. So uh, why don't we this time use the pick a corner method. So I'm going to pick that corner there and I'm going to go five left and six down. One, two, three, four, five, six down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that corner would be there. And I know I've got a triangle with base four and height four because this triangle had base four and height four. And there we go, I'm done. Alternatively, let's just double check the uh, tracing paper method would have worked out fine for us as well. Uh, we would have traced our shape like that. And we'd have moved it um, five left, so So one, two, three, four, and five, and then six down, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And indeed, it would have worked out perfectly for us. And therefore, again, just to remind you, this is called your object, and this shape here is called your image. Right, let's have a go at an exam question. Here you go. In 10 seconds, I'll go through it. Okay, so what we're going to do is translate that shape by 5, 2, and obviously that means 5 to the right and 2 down. Okay, so let's pick a corner. Let's do it that way first. Pick a corner, and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 2 down, 1, and 2. That corner now goes there, and I will draw in the remaining shape. I know it's 2 across the top. I know it's 3 down the bottom. I know it's, and it's got a little... Um, indent here and it would look something like that. Alternatively, what I could do is I could get myself some tracing paper. So I'll go back here and get some tracing paper. And what I could have done is I could have put the tracing paper over the shape, traced it out. So let's trace it out in a red color, let's say on top of the tracing paper and then all I'd have to do here is to go one, two, three, four and five and then two down, one and two and there we go, it would have been there. And I could have peeled off the uh, peeled off the tracing paper, just marked in the corners of my shape as follows. Deleted the tracing paper, and obviously then just filled in the lengths of the sides of the image. And there we go. That's done. That is how you perform translations in GCSE. Thanks for watching.